Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Kelvin from BlackSunComics.com and welcome to Daz Quick Tips. This will be the first video in a series that will cover the small but powerful features that I wish I had known about in Daz Studio when I first started using it, but didn't find out about until later on. So what I'm going to cover is a series of quick little tips that should help you become more productive, which is great for you because you get to create more art and it's great for the people who look at your art because they get to see more stuff. So let's begin. What you're looking at now is a scene that I've done in Daz Studio, and this appears in my webcomic, uh, blacksuncomics.com. You can click the link in the video to, to check it out. But what you see, there's a, a lot of things going on here. I have, um, you know, one human character, one humanoid-ish character, kind of like alien looking. Um, I have this cryogenic chamber here. I believe this model is a stonemason model. Um, that I've kind of um, modified. So I added these parts in here, these computers, whatever. There, there's a lot of, there's a lot going on. Now, when I render an image, it's very rare that I will just frame the image and just render it all out like this. I like to have a bit more control because I like to do a lot of my post-processing in Photoshop. So what I will do is render out, um, you know, I'd render out this character separately. I might render this computer console separately to this one. I'd render this cryo chamber separate to the, the background. Sounds fairly easy to do, but here's what I used to do. I used to go to my scene tab, which I happen to have over on the right hand side of the screen. And what I would do is painstakingly go through and click these eyeballs to try, to try and hide things. And this would take forever because uh, you don't necessarily know what these names refer to in the model. Um, so I would do that and it would take a lot of time until I found out that you could actually group items in the scene tab and hide it all at once. So here, here's what I mean by that. So for instance, I'll take um, this character, Lumaya, that, that's her name. And I believe she's the Genesis figure that I have here, yeah. So what I would do is find everything, whoops, I'm not sure what happened there. I find everything that belongs to Lumaya and just highlight it. So that's her bodysuit. I believe all these things belong to her. So let's just double check. Okay, a few more things there. Where's the pants? Right, so you can quickly see how this can get complicated. I'll probably speed up this part of the video so you don't have to sit through everything. Okay, so for the life of me, I can't find where the, the pants went. I'm really not sure what happened here. They usually should appear. But anyways, what I would do is I would take all of these. So I would select from here, scroll all the way up to there. And then what I do is once I have all those selected, I go up to the create menu and look for new group. So I'll create a new group and I'll, I'll name it. So I'm just gonna name it the name of my character, Lumaya, and hit accept. And then I'll let Daz do its thing. Okay, so here we go. It created the new group down here. So I can expand that new group. And let me just turn everything on. So I'll turn on Genesis. Actually, let me turn on her clothes first, just in case any of you are offended by nudity. There we go. So now if I want to hide this character, let's say I want to render everything except for Lumaya. I just want to hide that character. So then I just turn the eyeball off and there, it's gone very easily. So now I don't have to come in and, you know, select each one of these eyeballs in order to, in order to hide the character. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful. If you haven't done so already, please visit blacksuncomics.com where you can download a free preview of my graphic novel, Black Sun, The Longest Night. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. 
Please share the videos too. Your word of mouth goes a long way in helping to support the channel. And as always, until next time, take care. Peace. Thank you.